filming. What's up? Y'all, Kim's about to leave, so we're going to go ahead and start this. Uh, shoot. Luckily, not a whole lot of locksmith stuff is breakable. But uh, we've got an unboxing of one. Uh, oh, oh, no, 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 I got it. Uh, these are just keys. You're a gigger. That's the second time that box has fallen over. This is actually a customer's antique locks. We're going to take a look at that. Oh, that check this. Say? Check this out. This tripped me out. I was like, from who? Where? I guess they have uh, offices up there, too. And, uh, and then we've got a regular, regular shipment of stuff. So let's get started with today's. Unboxing. Kim's already taken out the. I know that's kind of gross. Look at that. Look what you're touching. Oh, it's gross. Look, Kim picked it up and touched it. Go wash your hands, bud. Let's uh. Let's flip the camera around and get these out. Ugh, gross. Yeah. And what kind of hand sanitizer does this? Ah, we, <laughs> we talked about that on live, right? It's so foamy. I know. We talked. We did that on live. It's like gross. No, no, no. Get away from me. Get away from me. Yeah, gross. Uh, we have a uh, couple of ants. Ooh. Look at the in this box. It looks like it. We'll go ahead and take a look at this first because this is just work. Ooh, look at that guy. Oh, yeah. That's an old yeah. Uh, why do I have this if he has a key? No, he ordered a blank. Oh, he ordered a blank original key. Where did he get that guy? That's interesting. Oh, look at that. It fits too. Huh. Very interesting that he found an actual yoke. He must have found that on eBay or something. And of course, it has to be cut. And then we have this guy. We've actually done one of these on a video before. Similar, anyway. Pretty easy to do. Well, actually, I'll take that back. Sometimes they're not so easy because that ward cuts. Uh, and the shaft is longer than normal, so that might take a little bit to deal with. Maybe we'll deal with those on Saturday morning live. Coming out tomorrow, Saturday. I don't know when I'm going to upload this video, but uh, every Saturday from 11 to 1 Central Standard. Sometimes we do things like this. All right, we have one whole thing. Well, 20 of those whole things, but look at that. Look at those long boys. Those are 710 RA Sergeant key blanks. We literally have only one customer in town that uses these and they need like eight or nine of them made. So <sighs> this people just freaking piss me off. Anyway, Sergeant R.A. Keys. Look at this. Not shredded invoices, but shredded cardboard boxes. That's it. That's a new level right there. Okay. we got to get the uh, trap off. Let's open this guy up because I need the chips out of here. We have maybe some more shredded things. Ooh, do I need to? I do you need? Yes. We do have more shredded paper. <laughs> right here for right now. Kim just left, so I can't can't do my thing, right? Pinion gears. If you do not know what these little guys are for and will work on commercial doors, you definitely need these. These are for the concealed vertical rod pan devices. Typically, typically you'll see first choice, uh, but also Falcon and a couple others. It totally feels empty, but chips are alike, so let's make sure we got five in here. One... Two, three, well, three, four, five, was there? Yep, there it is. <gasps> hey, I got, did I get that fifth one there? Yep, okay, five of those, that's good, good, good. These aren't, these aren't part of the unboxing. Uh, not very much today, we've got uh, Toyo 15 shells, I believe we got four of those as well, yep, four or five of those. Uh, 101C, that is nickel silver, SC4s. We don't really have to hang a whole lot of these up because I've got a pretty full rack, but I don't have any backstock. 
And whenever I start using those, I always need uh, usually 20 or 30. 997 ERs, Yale. Somebody messaged me. That is not what you... <laughs> oh, y'all. Does this look like a 997 ER to you? No, it doesn't. Wow. Good one, Yoko. 997 ER. Or the 1043J IL11, which I have plenty of, by the way. Meow. Okay. Uh, TR47. I hate these big headed Ilco keys. I much prefer the Jet brand with the smaller that looks kind of like an actual Toyota key. 997ER. What do you think? That's right. IL11. Look at that. Let's, let's fold this over for a screenshot. Hold up. Let's go ahead and fold this over. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Good one, Elko. That is definitely not those. Uh, and probably 9970Rs are a lot more expensive than uh, ILRs and SC1 brass. I do need some of those. So that is it. I think, yep, let's go ahead and shove this back in here. Uh, got it all over the place. That's the fun thing about it, right? Is it gets everywhere. Oh, don't forget the paperwork out of that one, Kemp. She's not here, still. We're down to the to the bare bare bones on the SC1 brass. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these stamped up and put over by the key machine. I wonder if we have any balls in here, y'all. Okay, yeah, that, that bugs me too. Oh no, don't go all the way out. Fully 48. Are we gonna rotate? We might as well rotate, right? Mm. And chips. Okay. You know why they're dumb? It's because the head's so big. That you can put so much torque on them and, and end up twisting them. That's why they're dumb. That's dumb, Elka. But I'm running kind of low, so I don't have a choice until I order from somebody else. Ooh, missing the tag. Oof, we're going to make it purple pink so it stands out. Let's flip these this way. That's weird, but these are weird because they're only used by one person, so... I just want to make sure that they're different, which, you know, obviously the pink tag with all the orange ones next to it would signify that they're different, but just in case, I may throw my OC. Ah, the phone. That's okay, though. I'm almost done. Oh, 
still ringing. Aisle 11s. I actually need the aisle 11s, but like again, those are cheaper, I think. Yeah, how'd that get in my pocket? Okay, box, box, and pinion gears, they go straight in the truck. So we're gonna go flip this up here. <laughs> These guys are gonna go back just because it'll go. Come on now. I don't, I, I need them. I mean, I guess I could keep them, but uh, I'm gonna have to check the price difference. And if you need pinion gears, yes, that is not random numbers. That is actually the stock number for these. If you deal with IDN, for some reason, a long time ago, you could just type in pinion gear and it'd come up. But now you need the 4270903177 for that. So you'll probably never remember that number, but if you need pinion gears, there you go. Quality craftsmanship right there. Look at that cheat up. That, that, that part doesn't matter really, but you have to be careful with these. I've run across some inconsistencies with these guys, especially if this part, this little lip right here, that goes into a perfectly sized hole. And if there's any extra flashing or anything around this lip and it doesn't sit flat, uh, there can be issues. So into the truck you go. Let's go, let's go right there. There we and go. that's it. We will take a look at this guy a little bit in more detail on Saturday Morning Live Season 4, Episode 10, 11. I don't know what we're on. Pretty neat that he found the Yale key. Kind of kind of scared to use it, but we'll give it a go. See how it does. Thanks for watching, y'all. If you have any questions or comments on this video or any other ones, I think I did everything, but post them in the comment section. We'll catch you next video.